Ben Fristeros here folks, today with the Bush Ranger 4x4 safety flag kit. Hit it. This is a three meter safety flag kit for your 4x4 mounts easily to the front or to the roof rack of your car and is compliant for your Simpson Desert Crossing. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. Got a quiet spot down here on a cloudy day near the River Torrens in Adelaide. And I brought my car down uh, near the river here just to show you this uh, safety flag kit from Bush Ranger. This is a really high quality safety flag kit. If you're planning a Simpson Desert Crossing, you need to have one of these on your car. It's there for visibility. So if you're crossing sand dunes, the people coming the other way can see the flag before they see the car, it's a safety measure. But anytime you're in um, sand dune country, it's a good idea to have one of these mounted on the front of your car. Check the regulations in your um, state or, or territory um, as to what they require. But in general, uh, the Simpson Desert Crossing requires about a three meter flag on the front of your car. It needs to reach something like 3.2 meters. Or if you do roof rack mount it, it needs to be about two meters from the top of the vehicle. So check on those regulations before you go. But if you go to the Simpson Desert, you can't cross without one of these guys. Now, when you buy the kit, this is what comes in and what we've got on the, on the bonnet here. You get a bit of an instruction manual and a long, nice, bright bag here with a, a Velcro top on there to store it in when you're not using it. And then you get the flag itself. Now, the flag here comes mounted to the top section of the pole. It's got a little rubber cap on the end here just to protect the, the end. And this is like a, a mesh or a nylon, quite heavy duty mesh uh, flag that's secured with um, uh, zip ties on here so it doesn't slide down. There must be a hole through the actual um, pole here to stop it from sliding down. And then on that, you've got um, reflective tape on both sides there so that if you are using it at night, that's gonna show up as well. So that's fixed on the, on the pole. And when you wanna pack it away, you just roll this up and it tucks away in the bag. And then you get two other sections um, with the, the, the kit here. So the middle section and the base section. So if you're mounting it on the front of the car, you wanna use all three of these to reach about three meters in length or three meters in length for, for all three. They're each about one meter um, sections. If you mount it on the roof, you could leave the middle section out and just attach the flag to the bottom section here. So you've got two meters in length. So you've got a couple of different options there. Now in terms of material, um, this is a fiberglass uh, material that, that this is made of here. Where the actual um, flag screws into itself is stainless steel. So this is stainless steel and there's little rubber washers on there as well, just to stop it from vibrating loose. And the same with the very base here. This is a bit of a combination of chrome plated uh, um, metal here and then stainless steel components on the base here. Now this is probably the, the more interesting bit of the uh, the flag kit here because this has the actual mount on the base here. So we can remove this mount by taking this linch pin out. So if we undo that and slide that out, don't lose that one. This then comes apart from, just got stuck a little bit there, it's firmly fit in there, comes apart from the flag. Now this does also come off too, so you can leave, I'll show you, I'll pull it right apart and show you. So you've got Another bolt there on the bottom of this section of the, the flagpole. Um, this is the stainless steel component that attaches to the mount that's gonna go on the bull bar. I'll show you how that mounts shortly. And then you've got a, a nut in the middle, I suppose, just to, to tight, help tighten it up. You can't put a um, spanner on this piece here. Now this is the mount that can stay on your car. So typically I've got a, an aerial mounted here, but um, if you had one of these that you weren't using, or if you mounted, so your aerial here on a, a removable bracket, you could then use this to mount this bracket on. You just undo the bolt from the bottom. This is stainless steel. This will go through the bracket there. You've then got a spring washer, a washer and a heavy duty uh, nut there to tighten up on the bottom to secure this to your car. That can then sit on the car and is then easy once this section is attached to the flag to just Slide your flag on the car, put the linch pin through and secure it in place. And that's your flag set up. So it would be nice and easy to uh, install, put on your car and take it off. Now they do say in the instruction manual for the flag that it has a 30 kilometer speed limit. So I guess if you're traveling on sand dunes, typically you're, you're not always going over 30 Ks or if you are, it's only for a very short period of time where you're trying to get a bit of speed to get up uh, over a sand dune. But if you're on the highway and traveling faster than 30 k's an hour, then you need to take the flag off and stow it while you drive. That's why that linchpin and the bracket makes it so easy to, uh, or makes it um, 
handy to take on and off your car. Now attaching these is nice and easy. This is all, as I mentioned, stainless steel with a rubber washer in between there. So nice long threads and it feels like a really positive thread. So as I screw that up, really well secured. And then that rubber washer in there, if you screw it down, that just squashes a bit and stops it from vibrating. That's the full length of the, the flag. There's three meters from, from bottom to top. Um, the flag's rolled up on the top there, but if that sits on the front of the car, um, that's gonna be three meters above the car. And as I mentioned, if you did want to mount it to the roof rack, I would need to probably take the middle section out because the mount on the bottom is what goes onto the mount that sits on the bull bar. And I would have to, there's, there's no custom mount for the, the, the roof rack. You'd have to come up with something. There's plenty of stuff online about people who've got ideas on how they've done that. But I would take, I would need to maintain this section here on the bottom. That middle section would come out. I would then have to mount this up on my roof rack up here somehow, whether that's a bracket or within the existing roof rack system. And then I can have a two meter flag sitting on top of my car there. So that's the, what's required currently for a Simpson Desert Crossing. So that is the Bush Ranger 4x4 gear safety flag kit. Uh, a must have if you're doing a Simpson Desert Crossing if you do a lot of sand hill driving um, where you don't have the visibility as you come up over the top of a sand hill, um, it's a, it, it is a must really. It's better that you see the flag before you see the vehicle. You can check these out online at snowies.com.au.